Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroot your Samsung Epic 4G Touch back to stock, get it completely back to how it was out of the box. This will take it back to EG30. It is the latest method as of right now and the method I do recommend to everyone. So that being said, you're going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this web, AC Syndicate website. I went ahead and posted this for you. Just click on this download link right here. It's going to download a RAR file, so it'll take a while. So make sure you uh, download this right here. Once you're done downloading that, you're actually going to need to make sure you have Odin. To you, I'll post a link to Odin in the description of the video. Let me go ahead and show you what it's going to look like. So the link to Odin is going to look like this. Just You'll download that as well if you don't have Odin. But uh, you'll need Odin as well. That's another download. And then you're going to need the drivers if you don't have it. It's Samsung Keys. I'll link to those in the description of the video. That's just to help in case your USB cord isn't connecting properly. But anyways, you ha once you have this RAR file downloaded, this uh, EG, it's actually an EG30 TAR file inside of this RAR file. But go to that RAR file. I'm going to go to my folder. It's going to look like this, similar to this. You're going to need either... 7-zip, uh, WinRAR, WinZip, something like that to open this. As you can see, it looks like this, and it's that RAR. I have 7-zip, so I'm going to double-click on it, and inside is a folder. I'm just going to click and drag that folder to my desktop. Just put it on my desktop. It's going to pop up a password to enter. So uh, you're going to need to enter a password. That password is sampro.pl. So I'm going to hit samp pro.pl. I'll uh, post the, I can't, it's not letting me click show password, but let me open up a notepad. So it's going to be called the password sampro.pl. That's a password, no capitals, nothing like that. That's, I'll link, uh, it's in the thread of the download in case you're wondering, but it's sampro.pl. Let me double check. Yep, that's right. So that'll be your password once, uh, that's done transferring actually you're good to go once you have that uh, file in your, that folder on your desktop sorry guys now once that's done it looks like the folder will look like this on your desktop right there so we'll just make sure that you have this on your desktop double click on it and inside you're going to see something called home.tar that home.tar is actually the eg30 tar that you need that's what it is called but anyways, once you have that downloaded and extracted out of that RAR file, you're ready to go. Go to Odin. So open up Odin, wherever you put it. If Odin's not opening up, make sure you have the .ini file with it. Those are the two files you need when you extract Odin out of that zip file to the download. Double click on Odin. Hit yes. And then it opens up Odin. This is Odin right here. So to get back to complete stock, um, you're also going to need to actually click on the other link in the description that go back to the link in the description I'm gonna post another download link I didn't post it yet but it's gonna be a PIT file you're gonna need to download that as well so I'll show you what that's gonna look like it'll be right here the PIT file so download that as well once you have the PIT file and the EG30 tar file you're ready to go go on the right side here and press the PDA box so press it and inside, now navigate to wherever that folder you just extracted, which I put on my desktop. And the folder is called, right here, that SPHD710, right there. Double click on it, and you got the home.tar. That's a tar file, so double click on that. So you got home.tar in the PDA slot right there. And once you're done with that, you can actually go to the PIT box. So press the PIT box. And now, uh, wherever you downloaded that, um, it's going to be called Epic 4G Touch PIT right there. Just double click on that. So you're going to need the PIT in the PIT box as well as the home.tar in the PDA box. And then go up to the upper left-hand corner and uncheck repartition and uncheck F reset time. So only auto reboot is checked. And that's it. So make sure only auto reboot's checked. You got the Epic 4G Touch PIT and the home.tar. And once you're done there, once you've done that, you're done. You can go back to your Epic 4G Touch. So go ahead and go back to your phone and we can power it on off. We're gonna need to power it on down. Remember, this is gonna wipe all your data. So make sure you back anything up you do need before you do go back to stock, whether you're going back to stock for a warranty reason or you just like, you wanna go back to stock, anything like that. This is the latest. We don't have 
this is for EG30. Remember, the, the latest over-the-air update is to EK02. We don't have an EK02 TAR yet. I will be doing an updated back-to-stock video once that TAR is released. The method will be the same for the EK02 TAR, uh, just using the EK02 TAR. So, anyways, once your phone's powered off, you're going to need to go into Odin mode or download mode to do so. Press and hold the volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those. Keep it held down, and it should pop up this screen right here and then just hit volume up to continue and there you go download mode Odin mode once you're there you can actually plug in your epic 4g touch into your pc so plug it on in and then once you go back to Odin the pc oh let me actually my cord isn't plugged into my pc so let me plug it on in and then you should see a com box pop up right there it should say COM and then a number, and it should be that yellow box. Disregard whatever the number is, it does not matter. But that just shows you that Odin is recognizing your phone. But anyways, only auto reboots checked. You got the Epic 4G Touch PIT and then the home tar right there, and you're ready to go. Then hit start. It's actually going to take a while, so be patient. Um, it's going to run through all the stuff. You'll actually see a progress bo progress bar going, as you can see right there. That little dot, a progress bar will go across. You'll see a progress bar in Odin, and let that go. If you do have any problems with Odin, try different cables, try different USB ports, try reinstalling drivers, try taking out your SD card. All of those things. The, the main one will be a, the USB po uh, cord. Uh, I find that BlackBerry cables work best, so try different uh, cords, definitely, if you're running into problems with Odin. But anyways, I'm going to let this run and sit, and once it's done, I will be back. Alright, so now Odin is finishing up, flashing everything. As you can see, the progress bar is still going on my Epic 4G Touch. It should be just finishing up. Didn't take too long. If the process is taking more than five, six minutes, it's definitely something going on. You're going to need to restart and follow this process again. But once it's done, it should actually reboot your Epic 4G Touch. Hopefully it finishes soon. Alright, so as you can see, it says reset and it passed. It took Odin and it's rebooting your phone. It took Odin three minutes and 15 seconds for me. So keep that in mind when it's installing for you. But anyways, it should reboot your phone, which it is. I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up. And then once it boots up, I'll be completely back to stock EG30 on my Samsung Epic 4G Touch. All right, now that it's booted up, I'll show you guys I am back to completely stock. I'm going to hit menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone. And right here. So you got build number, gingerbread, EG30 right there. So I am on Gingerbread EG30 as well as Baseband version EG30. So that's it. Completely stock EG30. That's how you install this tar file and get completely back to stock out of the box. You're ready to go. You can take it back to Sprint. They won't even know you rooted. Anything like that. That's it. So if you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links will be in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.